Jet offensive tackle Jumbo Elliott and several teammates are arrested after a wild brawl in Long Beach. Jumbo Elliott's out with his ex-Jets teammate Matt O'Dwyer and uh, Jason Fabini because O'Dwyer is leaving the Jets. He's going to go play for the Bengals and they're celebrating. So a couple of Jets offensive linemen walk into some bar named Bogarts. I guess maybe, you know, at this time, Live in La Vida Loca was one of the big hits. Perhaps these guys took it too literally. Jumbo Elliott goes into the women's bathroom. What does he end up doing? He ends up urinating into a sink. Then uh, pushes a woman in that uh, women's bathroom, comes out, then pushes another guy. At this point, the three Jets are throwing beer bottles. Everyone gets arrested. One of them basically kicks out the back window of a cop car. Two officers are injured and have to be rushed to emergency surgery to have glass removed from their eyes. That was one crazy night. But Long Beach was jet territory. I think everybody understood if you were a drinker, if you bellied up to the bar, you had to kiss the tukas of jets if they happened to come in there because they got comped on everything. They got comped on the trim in the back room. They got comped on the brewski in the front room. They got comped on the food because every gin mill owner in Long Beach wanted a jet there. And how could you miss a guy like Andre the Giant Jumbo Elliott? Now, Jumbo Elliott, I mean, he's this macho guy, this big, burly kind of guy, big, tough, physical lineman. He doesn't go to the men's bathroom. No, Jumbo Elliott's too big, too good for that. And who's going to tell the guy that he can't irrigate the flowers in the ladies' room? But naturally, you know, everybody gets that false machismo. I'm a big guy myself, and I don't know if I'd want to get involved with a guy named Jumbo. I've stood next to him a multitude of times covering the Jets over the years, and he's just not a type of guy that you want to... Yo, meet down a dark alley. He's a big dude. How am I going to arrest a guy named Jumbo? Uh, I, I don't know, but definitely somebody's got to be arrested. Maybe the guy next to Jumbo could take the pinch for him. Well, what Jumbo was probably doing was relieving stress from going from the Giants to the Jets.